Hi, check out my latest dumpster find. It's the Canon IR3300, copier A3 and A4. Can't even fit this in the one frame, it's so freaking big. Yes, um, somebody just dumped this down in the dumpster. I know these things aren't worth much. These copiers, you can pick them up for like 50 bucks on eBay or whatnot. But the fact is that uh, like transporting them costs a lot. And this one came on wheels and I just wheeled it up here to the lab. And uh, we'll see, it is not a color uh, copier. If we uh, open it up and have a look, we've just got ourselves the regular uh, black toner down in there and it's probably according to the manual about uh, 2003 vintage or thereabouts so it's uh, you know several generations behind and it's the Super G3 and it's got the old school uh, Centronics parallel on there but look it does have Ethernet interface uh, there's no other option uh, cards installed but I checked and it does actually have Windows 10 drivers for it because it's like you know postscript uh, compatible printer and whatnot awesome you know and it's got like the duplexer and uh well there we go is that the uh duplexer thing or whatnot maybe it's also got one of those uh hard drives in it as well maybe it's still got uh old people's uh scanner or printer information on it or something like that but uh, let's plug it in hope she doesn't go bang now this thing uh, could have been thrown out because a uh, d d magic smoke escaped and it doesn't work anymore or uh, most likely they simply uh, got a new one and it could have been like an X well I don't see any lease information on it so they probably bought it out right usually it has like pockets with uh, you know service information from the lease company so it was probably owned outright uh, by somebody they ordered a new one or got a new lease and it's quite common just to wheel these things down to the dumpster room because you don't want to have to pay someone to take it away even though you're not supposed to dump these in the dumpster room but anyway here we go got to power it on okay there's no bang power on Woo! starting up cannon wait i'm waiting i'm waiting come on you can do it so yeah, obviously like nothing wrong with the power supply, process is all working, it's booting up, but yeah, I mean there's a lot that can go wrong with uh, copiers, and they're quite uh, complicated to uh, service and maintain these things, but I have, this is not the first copier I've found down in the dumpster, I found one I've done a teardown of, which I'll link in down below, I did like a time lapse teardown and parts salvage of an old uh, machine, and that one didn't work, I believe there was you know, something seriously wrong with it, I think, or I just sacrificed it. And there was another one, which uh, which was a monochrome one. Hey, we're in like Flynn. And it worked uh, just fine. I actually used that one for a while. It didn't have Ethernet, but I think I installed an Ethernet card in it. Used it as a while as a like a high-speed black and white uh, printer. And I printed out, you know, thousands of sheets with the thing. So it was uh, useful. It came with paper and toner and everything. Didn't have to spend a cent. What we want, special features. Ooh. Look, yeah, it does all the two-site... It's warming up. It's warming up. You can hear it because we went into copy mode. So it's got to uh, heat up the uh, the fuser and whatnot. So, you know, and it supports mailbox. You can scan the mailbox. And anyway, we need to somehow find the... No. No. I don't know. Need to somehow find the how much, how many pages it's done. Oh, come on. Uh-huh, maybe this why it was tossed out. Uh, we, it just faded in this black line. It got some tear in down there and then just faded in. So, uh, yeah, look, uh, so obviously maybe there's a, a driver problem, power supply problem. It, because it faded in like that, it was kind of capacity chargey kind of thing. So, yeah, something's doing there, but that's not going to stop us using it. The uh, touchscreen still works, no worries whatsoever. So as long as that doesn't get any worse... Um, She'll be right, but I haven't found the bloody settings yet to display, you know, to print how many uh, copies it's done or whatnot. A diagnostic page, a demo page, counter check. <laughs> and there we go. It's done. <laughs> uh, oh, I was going to say, that's not many. 32,328,000. Yeah, that's, you know, a fair bit. Um, large, 3,000. Uh, total one, yeah, 119. Okay. So it's done a fair bit, but nothing that, you know, a machine like this is designed for high volume stuff, so it might be just, yeah, starting to wear in. Uh, but 
Yeah, I want... Okay, well, can't print a demo page. I'll just copy something. This thing's actually got a very old school paper select. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. got to dial it in and then a uh, probe goes in there and actually pushes... Um, I'll show you. Pushes one of the micro switches in there. Very crude. So you can see that dial just rotates uh, these down here, which pushes on the micro switches. So if I set it to A4, there we go. Just goes in and pushes those little micro switches. <laughs> crude, but effective. All right, I've got something in there. A4 selected auto. Let's just copy. Woohoo! Go! You can do it. You can do it. It's come out. It's come out. It hasn't jammed. Will it print? Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> We've got an old Electronics Australia. That looks very nice. There's no... The, uh, the uh, fuser works. There's no excess uh, toner on there. It's fused nicely. Of course, uh, it's trying to convert the color into the grayscale. Uh, gray but uh, that is a beautiful copy. No worries whatsoever. Wow. Fantastic. I got a fully working copier out of the dumpster. Beauty. Now, of course, there's more to it than that. You know, there could be some reliability issue. It could jam one in 10 or do whatnot. But straight out of the dumpster, that just works. The scanner works. The uh, fuser works. The toner works. I don't know how much, uh, how to check how much uh, toner's left in the thing, but it's obviously got toner and uh, it works a treat. Very happy. The only thing I have to do now is uh, uh, test that the uh, Ethernet uh, still works and that can be used as a Windows 10 printer. Unfortunately, the huge size of the damn thing, I can't transport this to the uh, office. I, I've got it in the lab here and where I really need this, I could use it as a high speed uh, printer and, you know, scanner and copier. Um, office, I, it's half my job these days is in the office. Uh, then, yeah, I could use this over at the main office. But, yeah, transporting it, you need a box trailer and a, you know, what a pain. I'd have to hire a ute to transfer the bloody thing. Because you can't just lay these things, you don't want to lay these things down flat and just slide them into the back of your car or whatnot. It's, it doesn't do them much good. You want to transport them upright. Service reminder, counter PCB inside. That's interesting. Hmm, wonder if we can get in there and reset. You can sell it as new, hardly used, um, <laughs> with, you know, 10 copies on it if you can reset that puppy. And inside here we've just got access to uh, some memory down in there nothing really much doing no access to a hard drive at all there's nothing uh there's nothing behind the curtain here so uh that's like the counter module i don't even think you can actually get that out from the outside um so yeah no externally accessible hard drive not even sure if this puppy has one. Oh, hang on it's under here nope no idea what that is beulah Bueller. Oh, I figured it out. They've got an identical one over here. It's to attach a uh, mold, one of those multi-sheet, uh, you know, uh, sorter things where you can, you know, staple things together and maybe auto sort and do all that sort of jazz. Yeah, that's what it's designed. You've got to uh, screw that into the side there. Unfortunately, I'm not having any luck setting up the network capability on this thing. DHCP is set on or off. Doesn't matter. Um, IP address doesn't matter. And... Like, yeah, I don't know. Windows can't see it uh, either automatically or manually, unfortunately. So, I don't know. It's probably beyond my penguin skills. So what am I going to do with this thing? I, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to cost me money and effort to uh, transfer it over to the office. And without it being easily network, or it probably is. Maybe you can, I can coerce it into working um, network-wise, but... I, I don't know, off the bat, can't get it going, so I'll play around with here some more. If I can do that, maybe it's a goer uh, for an office machine, otherwise it's... Oh, don't like putting it back to the, gum, uh, to the dumpster, I'll probably just, you know, whack it on eBay for a buck or something. Eh, 